Mr. Chairman, Commissioner, colleagues, speaking on behalf of Alzea, I should begin by expressing the deepest condolences to the families of the victims in Kunduz. Clearly, by choosing a hospital as a target, a fatal mistake was made. However, the reasons of the strategy still remain unclear. I therefore welcome the decision by NATO and Afghan authorities to immediately launch a thorough and impartial investigation of this tragic event. What happened in Kunduz is a terrible accident, but by all means we cannot view it as an isolated accident. By co conquering Kunduz, Taliban has made the biggest military advancement in 14 years. Taliban strengthened personnel has increased dramatically by more than six times in the last seven or eight years. The conscripts are mostly from Arab countries and post-Soviet Central Asia, as far as one can read from the reports. All this is very alarming. Taliban must be defeated to give Afghanistan a new start. The consequences of our inaction might be unthinkable. I strongly believe that we cannot disregard the overall and unprecedented support which has already been invested into Afghanistan's security and development. It should be clear from the outset that we cannot repeat the mistakes of Iraq and Syria, operations spurred by inadequate actions. Currently, our efforts in Afghanistan seem far too weak. It is fundamental to remain the progress made in Afghanistan based on our coordinated strategy, both military and development, amongst the international, regional and local players. Our effective actions and determination create the future for Afghanistan. Meanwhile, inaction and confusion bring the past back, which I am convinced people of Afghanistan are not looking for. Thank you very much for your attention.